I hope that the European countries, in particular, could do more pressure on Israel to, to stop this because, I mean, this is really counterproductive. And apart, apart from the humanitarian crisis, uh, we need really to stop it because it will affect definitely the cooperation. So, uh, I mean, uh, we will have, I think, the MEFED conference in, in June, uh, which is uh, uh, the dialogue between MENA and Europe on the future of energy. Uh, if the situation stay like that, I'm not sure. I mean, it may affect the success of the event. So we need really this uh, kind of event where we uh, we boost this dialogue between European countries and the southern Mediterranean countries to see w what is the future of energy that in terms of interconnections, in terms of uh, uh, production and exportation of green hydrogen and derivatives, in terms of security, you know, I mean, the energy security in both, in both shores. So this is important. We, I mean, we, it's pivotal to stop any war in conflict really to make the, 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 the cooperation, I mean, smooth and uh, more productive. I mean, now, obviously, it may impact. Even, as, as I said, for the investors, it's not the best climate to, uh, for them to, to go to the region because for them, is uh, even the, the conflict is happening in Gaza, but for them is, uh, I mean, e Egypt, Jordan, Lebanon is all risky areas. So, as you know, when the risk is higher, I mean, uh, uh, the, 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 exactly, so they step back. So uh, hopefully this will be solved very soon.